As the cities are growing super fast, the numbers of open fields are decreasing. As a result, childs are suffering from the scarcity of playground. Only 2% of children have the access to playground in the capital. Every time when I tell them you should go to the field and play and have some good time in the afternoon, they give me a blank look and they reply in a very negative tone, Sir, where can we play? To solve this problem, we have to work along with the government. Our first task is to make a list of targeted numbers of playing according to the area's demand. Playgrounds will be divided into two sections, park and open field. In the open field, children can play cricket or football. In the park, there will be various playing equipment and there will be different types of stalls on each side. The owner of the stalls will pay a monthly fee to the park authority. In this case, the government will introduce law for those families who have more than 14,400 square feet in the town. We will make a list of those families. The family possessing most open places have to leave their places according to 10 is to 1 rate. Actually, you are not leaving it free. The value of this place will be added as tax automatically. Again, the money we are earning from those stalls will divide it into three parts. 50% of the money will go to the account of the landowner, 20% of the money will pay to the government as it is helping us to set up the playground and park. 30% of the money will spend for the park security and development. In this part, we will help the government to do this. Finally, you are getting 50% of the money that are coming from the monthly fee of those stalls and you also don't have to pay the taxes too. Government will earn the money that is invested for setting up the park and the park and the playground will develop every month so that the children and adolescents can enjoy their time fully.